Hi everyone, it's Christina and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a planner Q&A video. I did one of these back in December and it went really well, so I thought it would be fun to do one every few months whenever I get a lot of questions from you guys. So the way this works is I will be filming a plan with me video, but instead of describing every step of the planning process with you, I'm going to be planning and answering your questions at the same time. So before I jump right into your questions, I'll show you the stickers that I'm using this week. I am doing a princess theme and I'm going to be using this weekly kit from Pretty on Paper Co. She doesn't make this for the horizontal any longer, but you can buy it for the vertical. And along with that weekly kit, I'll be using the Garden Royalty sticker book. I got this from Michael's Crafts last year and I used it in my first ever Plan With Me video, which I will link on the screen for you right now. But I'm going to be using mainly the stickers that are princesses in here. I thought it would be really fun to go back and revisit this sticker book. So let's go ahead and get started. If you have any questions for me along the way regarding the stickers I use or the planning process, just let me know in the comments and I will definitely answer them for you. So let's jump right into the questions just as I did last time. I split the questions into categories so that it would be easier to answer them. The first category is definitely the most asked question and that is about the planners that I recommend. And I wanted to address this right at the beginning because not only was it the most asked question, but it's a question that I can't really answer for you guys because as you know, if you watch my channel, I use the Erin Condren Life Planner in the horizontal layout. That is the only planner I use for daily planning. I do own the Target Dollar Spot Planner, but I use that for a very specific purpose and I will link my tutorial using that planner on the screen for you right now if you want to learn more. But because I only use the Erin Condren, that is the only planner that I will recommend to you guys. It is very important to me as a blogger and a YouTuber to only recommend products that I am familiar with, that I have personally used. And although I have heard very good things about other planners, I haven't used them myself and thus I will not recommend them to you. But that being said, I wanted to list out all of the questions that I got in this category so that you know I did receive your question and I did think about it and I thought about how I would answer it. So let me just list those questions for you quickly. The first one is what is your unicorn planner? Then I got asked what my favorite planner inserts are. Do I have any tips for a DIY planner? Are there cheaper alternatives to the Erin Condren? How would I rate a macaron planner, which I had never even heard of before? What planner do I recommend? And what planner do I recommend for new planners? So obviously I highly recommend the Erin Condren Life Planner in the horizontal layout. That is the planner that I use exclusively. I really do love the Erin Condren Life Planner. I know it is an investment. They start at $50, although right now, if you're watching this on the upload day, they are on sale for 50% off, which is an amazing deal. But we are partway through the year, so that's why there is such a sale on them right now. That being said, I want to link you to a blog post that I did a few months back. It breaks down the price of the Good To Go Planner for a first time Erin Condren shopper, and it really goes to show that this is truly an excellent deal for everything that is included. I know that might sound weird, but trust me on this. I find the Erin Condren to be amazing quality. The paper is excellent. The covers have held up well for me. My only complaint would be that because I use so many stickers, the coil is a little smaller than I would like. But other than that, I have nothing bad to say about Erin Condren at all. Even the times where I've had some customer service issues, they have always fixed them in a timely manner. So I highly recommend Erin Condren. And I completely understand if you are unable to make the investment but if you can, I highly recommend it. Now is the perfect time to buy an Erin Condren because of the sale. And I do have a referral link. So if you use my referral link, which is listed in the description box below, you will get a $10 off coupon for your first Erin Condren purchase. And I will get $10 as well. So it works out well for both of us. 
and that way you can get an amazing deal on the Erin Condren. One of the questions that I listed before mentioned what planner inserts I like the best, and I do want to say that if you are on a budget, I do recommend the Target Dollar Spot Planner. It is super affordable. I will link you to my walkthrough of that planner, and I think it's a great place to start. As far as cheaper alternatives to the Erin Condren Planner, I know there are some out there. I haven't tried any of them, but I really, really think you should just invest in an Erin Condren if you're interested in doing so. I certainly don't regret it. It was a huge investment for me, and I am so happy that I went ahead and made that investment. So that is pretty much all that I'm going to say on that topic. I can't recommend any planner but the one I use, and that is the Erin Condren in the horizontal layout. Now, that being said, if there are any planners that you are really interested in trying and you would like to see me do a review of, definitely let me know in a comment. I will keep that in mind. I obviously can't run out and buy every single planner, but I will take a look at them and see if there's one that I'm also interested in, and I will keep that in mind for further videos. So the next category of questions that I received all have to do with my planner history. And the first question is, what planner did I use before the Erin Condren Life Planner? And the answer to that is very simple. I did not use a planner before the Erin Condren. I know I've talked about this before and in my introductory Plan with Polish Land blog post, I talked about this as well. So I will link that in the description box. But the whole reason that I got an Erin Condren was because I was the type of person who would have slips of paper everywhere. I had to-do lists on memo pads. I had post-it notes floating around. I was just really disorganized and I didn't plan. I had a hard time planning when I was in school. So I decided to just go ahead and make the investment and become a planner. So truly, I didn't have a planner before I got the Erin Condren. And that goes with the next question, which is, at what age did you start planning? So like pretty much every student, I got my first planner when I was in, I think, fifth grade. And we were required to plan, but I really kind of just fudged it because I wasn't the planning type. So I would do my work and then write it in after. And I always had a planner through middle school and high school, and I even tried to plan in college, but it just wasn't my thing. So honestly, when I first became a planner, it was when I was 25 years old, because that's when I got my Erin Condren. So I definitely became a true planner late in life. I always planned, but it was more in my head than on paper. I even tried to use my phone and things like that, and it just didn't work out. I definitely recommend the paper planner if you're somebody who maybe you don't like organizing on your phone and you want to try a tangible method, that's definitely what worked for me. The last question in my planner history category is what is your favorite planner layout that you've done? And this is a really hard question because I love so many of the layouts that I've done since getting my planner. I am going to link you to my six months of planner layout video because I showed you my top five layouts during the first six months of my planning life. And I will be sure to do that video either partway through 2016 or at the end of 2016 and update you guys on my favorite layouts then too. But I would have to say my favorite layout so far this year is probably my Valentine's Day layout with the Spring Birds and Bees sticker book. I will link that plan with me on the screen for you guys right now. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the stickers category of questions. So the first sticker related question I got was, what sticker shop is your favorite? And I did talk about this in my last planner Q&A video, but I thought it would be fun to answer it again because obviously I've tried some more sticker shops by now. And I do have to say, I really, really love Pretty on Paper Co. I am bummed that she doesn't make horizontal kits anymore, but her stickers are still amazing quality. That's what I'm using today in this spread. I love Oh Hello Stationery Co. That's still one of my top shops. And I do have a coupon code for her shop as well. It is Polish15 if you would like to save 15% off your order. 
I just tried Whimsical Plans for the first time. That's where I got these two Ombre Heart checklists, and I really like her stickers so far. And I'm also really loving Love Lindsay Paper Co. She is a brand new shop. I will say that I have never had a negative experience with an Etsy shop so far, which is awesome. I haven't tried all that many, to be honest with you, but so far, so good. And as always, I want you guys to let me know in the comments what your favorite sticker shop is, whether on Etsy or on its own website. Or if you don't shop at sticker shops, let me know where you get your favorite stickers. The other question that I got asked is, do I have any advice for creating your own stickers rather than buying them? And the only advice that I have in that regard is using a Darice adhesive roller, which I've used many a time, but I will link you to a specific video where I do a little tutorial for you. I honestly don't have the patience to make my own stickers. I'm not good with graphic design or using Photoshop. I don't have a silhouette or any of those tools. And while I know you could totally do DIY stickers if you don't have any of that special equipment, it's just not something that I'm interested in. I think when you're planning or doing anything in life, really, you have to look at what your interests are. And I have no interest right now to make my own stickers. If I ever change my mind, you guys will be the first to know. But yeah, sticker making is just not an interest of mine. So I really don't have any tips for you. And finally, I have a couple of miscellaneous questions. So the first one is, have you always been an avid reader? And I got this question because I always mark when I read a book in my planner. And if you want, you guys can check out my blog, Adventures in Polish Land, where I review books one to two times a week. And I also have my Goodreads profile linked in the description box for you as well. I have been an avid reader my entire life. I cannot remember a time when I wasn't reading and I am so happy that I still love it to this day. I think reading is very important. And if you don't read, give it a try. It's a ton of fun. And the last question that I received is, do you have any tips on finding the best planner for yourself? And I have answered this a little bit in the past, but I thought it was worth returning to in this video. I think the best thing that you can do when deciding which planner to buy is to watch a lot of plan with me videos. You get to see all different kinds of planners without having to buy one yourself. And in addition to watching a plan with me videos, I would recommend thinking in your head and jotting down on paper the different ways that you would want to use your planner and then matching up those ways with a specific planner. So I had a lot of reasons why I chose the horizontal planner over the vertical. Mainly, I wanted to have enough room to be creative and also enough room to write. So as you can see, I have a lot of space to write in daily tasks. Sometimes I do break it up into smaller chunks, like over here I've done that. But really, I want to have a lot of space and I want to be able to use my planner creatively in the best way that works for me. And I feel like the horizontal gives you the most creativity and now the hourly gives you the least amount of creativity. And I know you can definitely be creative with the hourly. I'm not saying you can't, but I think for me and my style, the horizontal is just what works best for me. And that's what planning is really all about. Finding the planner that's going to work for you. So think about whether you want to plan top to bottom or side to side. I much prefer side to side. So that's another reason why I got the horizontal. If you want a lot of structure, the hourly is going to work for you or the purposeful planner or something else that has a very specific purpose is going to work for you. That wouldn't work for me. So that's why I didn't pick it up. So my quick answer is, in order to find the best planner for you, I recommend watching a lot of videos and practicing. And you can practice on regular pieces of paper or you can find templates online that allow you to print out a week just so you can get the feel of it.
But those are all of the tips I have and all of the questions that you have as well. I've finished planning my week so far. I will, of course, post a final look at this week over on my Instagram, which is at Plan with Polish Land. I always have it linked below for you guys in the description. So make sure to head on over there to see how this week turns out with all of the writing and other stickers that I'm sure will make its way onto the spread. If you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comments below and I will save them for an upcoming planner Q&A. I will do one of these videos every few months for my new subscribers and for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I find these a lot of fun. And as always, I want to know something about you guys as well. So please let me know what planner do you use? And if you're using an Erin Condren, let me know if you used a different planner before that or if the Erin Condren is your first planner as it is mine. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I post new planner videos every Tuesday and Saturday and sometimes on bonus days as well. And I will see all of you in the next one. Bye!